Yeah, the life, uh, about the life I learned a lot because uh, if you don't speak a different language, uh, you have to be go in the, this country and uh, you heard the people you see in your newspaper, on the, on the TV, you heard that and I want to learn. And of course, before I, I knew Germany uh, and from Germany, some words uh, I can uh, take it uh, of English and uh, I want to speak, I want to learn, I want to try and uh, the people around me, they, they see that and they, uh, they want to help it, uh, me and that's, that's what's uh, very important for me. The VAR Show The one place for your weekly football update So hello, very warm welcome to the VAR show, the show which talks about all the base major football leagues in detail. Today we are going to continue with interviews and we have Mr. Gabor Kirali with us, who has played for the likes of Hertha Berlin, Burnley, Haladas, Fulham, among a host of other teams and also has gone on to represent Hungary a mammoth 108 times, which is the joint highest as of now at least. And uh, so without wasting much time, I would like to first thank Gabor for coming on the show. Thank you and welcome to the show. And I would like to begin by asking you, how are you and what are you doing these days? Hi, it's nice to hear you. Uh, I am very good. Uh, I live in Hungary and uh, I finished with uh, football uh, one and a half year ago. And I, I do it uh, my job in my uh, own club. Uh, uh, I organized uh, the club uh, and everything was, was uh, what is uh, necessary. And I have a lot of to do. Definitely. And you know, like you said, like how you just finished playing one and a half year back and you're, 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 you're 44 now. So you played on till your early 40s. How, how did football start for you? Why football? My daddy was a professional football player in Hungary. Uh, he has uh, almost uh, 300 games from for our city. And uh, of course, uh, like a, a kid, I looking for my daddy, how he prepared for the game, how he looking for the game, how he play, what he doing after the game, and this this atmosphere is uh, was very good for me, and uh, I want to be football player, I want to be goalkeeper, and of course you have uh, you have to bring some talent, uh, some quality, uh, you have uh, you have to catch the ball. And uh, that's why I want to work always. And uh, that's why I growing up uh, step by step and uh, I joined my kid life and uh, was excellent for me. And like, did you always uh, plan to become a goalkeeper when you're growing up or was it something that happened? Yeah, uh, I started uh, with five years. Uh, I was five years old if I started the football and, and uh, it was a very long time. Uh, you said before uh, I played with uh, 43 and it's a long, long uh, years, long, long time. And uh, I going uh, step by step uh, by every uh, generation, every age. And uh, with 17, I started in a professional league, in the first league in Hungary. I played uh, 100 games for, for my uh, hometown uh, in the first league and second league as well. Uh, and after I moved to, to Hertha Berlin and I was seven years in Berlin. Uh, between I was, uh, I started in a, a national, international cap for Hungary uh, with uh, 98. And uh, that's why I, I want to enjoy my life. I want to be football player, professional football player, and uh, yeah, I did that. And did you always uh, want to become a goalkeeper? Yes, I want to be uh, always goalkeeper because uh, my daddy has a, a good teammate, uh, Peter Hegedush, uh, the name, and uh, he was very funny. And he, he make a lot of jokes, he was a great goalkeeper. 
but he doing for the for the for the fans a lot of things the fans laughing about him and uh, i want to be the same and uh, some tricks uh, i learn from him and uh, that's why you know this is the football is a show and you have to show for the people uh, the fun uh, the people want to be be uh, happy and that's why sometimes you can see the goal sometimes uh, you you are happy and that's why the emotion is uh, up and down in the game and uh, that's why it's very important uh, some fan some uh, fun uh, what you have definitely and you know like you said like how you moved from hungary to uh, hertha berlin where you spent 7 years of your of your career how 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 was it like you know like moving from hungary to hertha berlin because before that you had not played outside so that was your first move how was it for you i started uh, the in uh, the national team with 12 i i was 12 year old i started uh, with every age in the national team and we play of course uh, uh, international games against different country and uh, a lot of scout uh, looking after and that's why uh, hertha berlin scout uh, looking uh, in under 21 Uh, game we played uh, two games in that uh, that time in uh, Switzerland and uh, in Norway and uh, yeah the scout said uh, they want to me and I move for three days just uh, trial list just uh, for for some training and uh, after they said uh, after after one day they said they want to me and uh, we make a deal and uh, the international uh, career uh, started uh, in in berlin and how was your time at berlin uh, sorry again how how was your how how did you enjoy your time did you enjoy your time at hertha yeah i i enjoy uh, to hertha berlin i don't speak uh, i don't spoke at that time germany and uh, of course i don't spoke uh, english as well and uh, just i going there to learn Uh, learned uh, about the uh, about the culture about the city about the germany about the people about the food about everything and uh, i want to learn and this was uh, very important uh, i want to do it i want to learn i want to uh, work and uh, that's why the opportunity was there as a big club uh, hertha berlin with big fans in the in the best uh, league in the in the europe or or in the world or best uh, five uh, five league and uh, i think is uh, for the young player you can learn a lot uh, from professional uh, football and after hertha berlin you moved to england with crystal palace how how did that happen uh, in 2004 i moved to crystal palace uh, that summer we played uh, in the national team against germany and we won 2-0 in in germany and uh, germany that time i i think going to european championship in 2004 and uh, they prepared uh, with the game and uh, uh, we did well and uh, the scout from uh, crystal palace was in the game and they said uh, they want to take me and i moved to crystal palace and uh, it was a great club is a great club uh, like a family Uh, with the fans with the with the people there around the club and uh, i start to play in the premier league and uh, i was i was in crystal palace uh, three years uh, i played uh, 111 games uh, for crystal palace and even i work uh, today is uh, with crystal palace uh, i travel sometimes uh, to the game to the stadium and uh, i doing some job for for crystal palace but uh, i still living in hungary but uh, some games uh, with i said i i move uh, to to palace definitely and you said like you did not know english when you went to crystal palace how so how difficult or easy was it for you yeah the life uh, about the life i learned a lot because uh, if you don't speak a different language Uh, you have to be go in the, this country and uh, you heard the people 
you see in your newspaper, on the, on the TV, you heard that, and I want to learn. And of course, before I, I knew Germany, uh, and from German, some words, uh, I can uh, take it uh, of English. And uh, I want to speak, I want to learn, I want to try. And uh, the people around me, they, they see that and they, uh, they want to help it, uh, me. And that's, that was uh, very important for me. And you're like, as a goalkeeper, what was the major difference playing in Germany and in England? Yeah, of course, uh, in, in uh, Germany it's, it's uh, more technically uh, to play. Uh, in England it's more simple uh, that time. If uh, coming one uh, back pass, I have to kick just uh, forward. I don't need uh, to touch and play like today. Uh, just play simple in England. In Germany you have to play like today. If you got the ball, you have to start the game easy, not always just uh, long balls and uh, uh, in England sometimes uh, they said uh, you don't necessarily to catch the ball, you have to punch the ball or whatsoever uh, away from the goal and this is the difference to learn. I want to catch the ball, I catch it but the goalkeeper coach said it's not necessary to catch, just uh, punch the ball. And I know I understand, but uh, I, I did because I want to learn a lot of different uh, style, a lot of different uh, things. And uh, that's why uh, I am very happy about uh, my career because uh, I was in a lot of situation. I played 882 games and uh, every situ situation was on the pitch. And uh, I learned a lot. And this is very important if you, if you feel uh, in your skin, you are happy, you are disappointed, and and everything, and you learn every every day. And you said like the difference between Germany and England was more tact. Germany was more tactical. And how was Hungary, where you played before going to Germany? How was football in Hungary? Football uh, was good in Hungary because a uh, lot of uh, international, a lot of uh, national player going to different country, country Belgium, Germany, Holland, uh, French, and uh, that's why we we got a good uh, uh, football. The Hungarian football player is more technically a football player, and we got very good basic. Uh, like a kid, but if you're gro growing uh, up, you want to more and a good challenge uh, to jump to next country uh, to reach your level, your next level. And it was very good. Uh, we got in Hungary good basic and step by step uh, you can go to to different country and you can reach your your dream. Definitely. And you know, like you traveled so many countries while playing football. You played in Hungary, Germany, England, and then again, other countries. So did you always want to travel during your career or was it that something that happened? Uh, I choose always uh, the club and uh, sorry, the club choose me because uh, I played always and uh, every scout looking after who played and I was very happy I can choose what I want and every club want me that I said okay if the club want me then I go and that's why decision was in my hand but I always uh, talk about uh, which club want me and I go always uh, to, to this club and I was so very happy uh, with this, uh, my ex-clubs because I play with uh, my spirit, I play with my, my uh, person there and uh, I learn a lot. Definitely and you know like, uh, uh, you, know, like you, you have played in so many countries under so many coaches, which coach had the most influence on you? <laughs> every coach because uh, I learned from every coach what I have to do or I don't need to do and this is the difference because 
you learn in the whole life uh, what you have to do better or what you don't have to do and uh, that's why i don't can say which person was for me is important because every person was important in my life in my career every uh, football mate or teammate because i learned a lot and i take always i took always on me uh, the experience and uh, that's why my person uh, has a lot of experience definitely so you know like i'll ask you one uh, maybe one imaginary question which one would you prefer a, a, a clean sheet or or you save a penalty shootout win which one would you prefer maybe clean sheet clean sheet is always uh, better because uh, if you don't concede the goal this uh, you are happy uh, sometimes if you win 5 nil and you have nothing to do and this is no not so good feeling because you not work for for the club but if you win 1 nil and you kill, you keep a clean sheets is uh, for me is better like you said like how you know, like sometimes you are winning by a huge margin maybe 2 nil 3 nil that's a huge margin and probably you don't have much to do as a keeper how difficult it is you know like to be in the game uh this is our job this is our business and uh, that's why we have to we, we learn every day we work every day and without fans with fans uh you have to play always clean sheet you have to made so less mistakes if possible and uh, you are the last man you you can uh, touch a last time uh, before the goal uh, going the ball and uh, you have to read the game you have to keep in your mind uh, mentality you have to be strong and this is important and if you made the mistakes the next step is very important to be positive and after the game you can think about everything but in the game you ha- you can you have no time to think about you have to do it your best and that's why uh 90 minutes uh you have to go you have to do it what what uh, what is your best and and you said like how you know like even if you make a mistake you have to come back stronger when you made a suppose you when you made a mistake in your career how did you come back because it will be very difficult because once a goalkeeper makes a mistake it's a goal and it's a very big thing I do it in uh, mistake is in training as well but it's different in which game you doing in uh, final in a world cup doing in the same mistake like in training in training you don't care about but in world cup final this is uh, different and i think we learn from mistakes but you have to do it the next step you have to go forward doesn't matter what happened what is the past you have to looking always forward and because if something passed you, you cannot correct uh, bad or good it happened but uh, what is uh, in the future in the, uh, before your your person your step is this is a uh, is big decision and that's why never think about uh, back just focus uh, forward and this is the prof- professional life uh, but i think your life is uh, the same you have to think about always uh, forward in the future because uh, the motivation is uh, very very uh, good and uh, i believe always to my goalkeeper mate to my teammate to 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 the coaches because if they support me and i believe the fans i believe uh, the round the people uh, the round the clubs round me uh, because they want to me uh, help and that's why some teammates need my help i am ready this is the this is the same definitely and you like uh, now that you have retired it's been a while like one year and a half as you said when you look back at your career if you had to pick the highest point of your career and the lowest point which one would that be highest uh, i think for the clubs 
playing in the Champions League. This is the highest uh, level from, from the clubs. Uh, international for with Hungary, we played in 2016 in the uh, European Championship, was for the national team the highest level. In the deepest, I never think about the deepest because uh, if you fall down, you stay up. This is the, this is the, this is you have to stay up. And I think I said before I played 882 games, and I going a lot of times on the knee, but always I stay, I, I stood it up because I need that, and uh, I want to be uh, refresh, renews a uh, new challenge, and. Uh, this is this is important, uh, but if you you are su uh, successful, this is you reach uh, the top level, and after you have to start the new challenge. You know, it's not finished in the top level. You have to be uh, take a new challenge uh, to be uh, motivated again to work again. And this is this is the life. Always, if you reach the top, you have to be go. Uh, to other challenge. Definitely. And you know, like one thing that you have been known for is wearing track suit instead of shorts. Why did you wear track suits? Yeah, in Hungary, in uh, my kid time, uh, was not really good uh, field. Uh, and that's why I took uh, long bottoms. And uh, yeah, the great one is uh, was uh, that time if I played in professional uh, league, was uh, was the uh, one time I have not other choice to take a, a, a black one. I have uh, take the gray one because uh, was not other uh, long bottoms, and we win. We won this game, and I said maybe bring the luck, and I take the next game, and we won again, and I said it's uh, not possible before. Uh, we lost almost every game and I took this grey bottom and uh, we win, we win, we win. Uh, nine times uh, we we not lose it and I said I concede in nine games two goals and I said bring, bring, bring uh, luck uh, uh, this this uh, long bottoms and I said okay I keep it and uh, I keep until my career. Uh, I played 26 uh, professional years and uh, I played 23 uh, years with grey bottoms also uh, just only three years with uh, black one and with short but uh, the rest one is uh, with grey bottoms so are you wearing it now also when you are running a club for luck say again please so now that you are running your own club are you wearing grey bottoms during games <laughs> yes, um, I have uh, I have uh, my own club, but uh, nobody used uh, the grey bottoms because the grey bottoms is a legend. It's uh, passed away. Uh, nobody take it, and uh, happened. Definitely. Then you like I'll ask you like if you were not a footballer, what would you have been? Garden man. I learned garden man. Then uh, I like uh, the uh, natural. I like to work, and I think maybe I could be a gardener. Definitely, and you like you said like how one of your highest points was playing in the European Championship with Hungary, and uh, Hungary have qualified again, and they have a good squad. You have a uh, good yeah. uh, keeper. You have a lot of players from RB Leipzig. You have uh, a lot of good players from all over Europe. What do you think will how will they perform in your opinion in the coming European Championship? I think uh, the Hungarian Hungarian team is a little bit changed for the last uh, last European Championship. Uh, in 2016, was uh, uh, some old players uh, that give the way. Uh, we can we can do it, and was the young players that time is growing up now for four four years, and I think uh, they has a experience now. And uh, that's why uh, 
they can do it uh, better. And uh, I think uh, the Hungarian squad is uh, maybe 25, 24, 26 year old. Some old players, but the old players is just over uh, 30, 31, 32. But the last European Championship was the old players, 40, 35 uh, year old, and now it's a little bit less. And that's why it's, uh, I think a little bit uh, will be better. And you also have another player who is very, very close to breaking your record for the highest number of caps, international caps for Hungary. So you have, I think, Balaz is on 108 also along with you. So do you feel sad that you will be no, no longer the highest cap player for Hungary? I think uh, every record uh, will be broken. And uh, this is the life, this is uh, the football. And I was uh, very happy to reach 108 games and this is my number this is my code number the 108 and Balash has the same uh, 108 but uh, I think he will be uh, play more uh, games he'll be uh, he will be uh, take a re uh, record but uh, I think uh, I'm very proud about the 108 games because I do it for my country and I do it uh, from my uh, self, from my power, and I was I was uh, very happy. David, and you know, like something that I saw when I was preparing the questions was like, all when you played 108, generally players will have, will have played more games when they were younger and lesser games as you go on. But you played all the way up till, you know, like till you retired from the international stage or from club stage, you played steadily. Like what kept you for in the game for such a long time? Like how did you motivate or drive yourself? This is very good uh, question because you see every year the coming the young people they want to be play they want to be better and this is my challenge. This was my challenge to be every to be better uh, like a, a young players. I was forty and my teammates what was 20, 21 and it's big, big uh, distance and you know for me it was big challenge to keep the same level and uh, I was always fun with the football and uh, uh, the teammates helped me, I helped for the teammates and this is very important, I was never on the side, uh, the people never said to me, you are, you are not here you are outside the, the field. I was always in the team and uh, was very important, uh, uh, I think, for every person. Definitely. And you, you said like how you run your club. Did you ever think of getting into coaching? I got the, the A license uh, from, from coach and the, from goalkeeper coach, the goalkeeper A license I have. Uh, maybe this year uh, will be a uh, sport director uh, course. I want to be go there. I want to learn. Uh, I think what I do it uh, in my own club, I organize uh, 18 year long uh, my club. Uh, this is this is the good challenge. This is the good uh, strate strategy and uh, I think I saw the football side, everything, Premier League, Bundesliga, uh, everything, national team, how the people growing up, how the people around the club, around the teams. And I want to build the same. And I started in 2003 that to build up. And now 18 years, I have experienced what I have to do more better. And uh, I think this is my challenge. This is my future. But this is my challenge as well to keep my contact to Germany, to England, to interna international, because uh, this is the big family. The football is big family. And every, everyone uh, understand the football language. And uh, this is important, keep uh, together, keep strong, and growing up in this this uh, level
definitely and you know, like on that note i'll ask you one final question and uh, you know like you have so much experience and uh, on the belt and so you have roamed around so much you have played so much international football if you had to give a piece of advice to a young goalkeeper or a player who's just starting out what advice would you give that player they have to learn they have to be better they i want to see for the young people they want to learn they want to work uh he want to be better and if they want i help he, even i said to my son if he want to be goalkeeper i help him if he want to be gardener i help him but if he don't want i don't help because i don't want to but if somebody want to be better want to work want to want to be be always uh, reach the top level i help because i have my experience but if somebody don't want i don't want to help definitely and that is very helpful advice for everyone and i think today also you helped me by coming here you know that is a very big honor for me to have you on the show so you know like on that note gabor thank you so much for giving me your time and i wish you all the best with your club and other endeavors whatever you are doing with maybe goalkeeping coach or sporting whatever you said and uh, hope you i can talk to you in the future till then take care stay safe bye thank thank you very much bye bye bye, bye. player wise it would have to be Steven Gerrard just because again before before he became a, a journalist you know he was he was someone i just admired massively in terms of the absolute complete footballer i think if you were trying to like make a footballer in a factory he would it would be Steven Gerrard someone who you know he, i think JD Carragher summed it up best once when he said you know Steven Gerrard's biggest strength is he doesn't have any weaknesses ah oh, the stadium Uh, I I don't see really uh, need to do that mainly um, such a, a big spending but it's true that it would be a, a fantastic stadium that's not bad but uh, you have to be careful and mainly at this moment uh, when we are going to face a very difficult time